<laughs> last of the rugby league matches over oh, the course of league, the weekend. Take yeah. control. A little bit. Um, Kangaroos, disappointing, embarrassing, mm. worst result yeah. in a disastrous uh, their, their history. What did you make of the game? It was, disa- it was a disaster. Unmitigated disaster. They were horrific. As good as New Zealand were, Australia was just diabolical. Disgusting. I can't remember a worse performance from an Australian team. In yes. My, my life t- in my lifetime. Yeah, I've, been, I've been alive a long time. It's pretty bad. <laughs> can't remember it, it's it bad. was pretty bad. We all like seeing international footy be close and upsets and stuff, but not to see the kangaroos get pumped. In the space of a week, too, given how much they, they dominate, and I know this, this scoreline kind of flattered the, the kangaroos the week beforehand, but they, yeah, it was night and day um, in the space of a week. So what does this mean for the kangaroos? Mal's off contract. Yeah, um, but I think they're a long way down the track with giving him a new deal. So I don't think it'll affect Mal. Um, there's some guys to come back into that team, obviously. Cam Murray didn't play. Nathan Cleary's a big one to come yeah. into that team. Um, what I'm, did you make when, when Cam Murray came out of the side and they put Nico Hines on the bench? I th- the use of Nico Hines uh, just w- stunned me. Yeah, again. He's, again. Like, why would you take off Harry Grant and stick... It's easy in hindsight, right? And Mel's... I'm not questioning Mel because his record is impeccable. But why would you take off Harry Grant and put Nico Hines on the middle of the field? And as soon as he came on... He missed the tackle. Was it on Griffin Neem and they scored? Yes, yeah, Griffin Neem. Why, why, the, need, why the need to have Nico Hines on the bench when you've got Harry Grant? And that's because I think they got their squad selection wrong because, yeah, yeah. look, there's, there wasn't a lot yeah. of edge players. We saw that with yeah. um, Cam Murray playing there, Ruben Cotter playing there. Neither of them played there for... And Ruben looked out of, he looked out of place. Well, neither of them played there at club footy, right? Yeah. Um, so they had no other options in the middle there? They had options. Well, they had Flegler and Jake Trevojevic in the yeah. squad. Um, Cam Murray put out on, on game day Flegler was in the extended squad they could have stuck Flegler on the bench I would have picked Jake in the yeah. extended squad and had Jake on the bench instead of Nico Hines but still doesn't solve the deficiencies I guess on the edge because they just they just didn't pick edge players Liam Martin was the only yeah. recognised edge player in the whole the, squad they run a lot around, around though Mick there's not a lot of options there I don't think as far as Australia's concerned in terms of edge players I mean who was at the World Na- Cup Nanai, last year well Nanai was there and, he was out injured Nanai Ang- Angus right. hasn't had a great no, year. No, of course, yeah, they're not, they're not, not going to be picked. So they were the two guys who were at the World Cup last year, along with Murray, right? So David da- Fafita injured. David Fafita was injured. So they didn't, and he would, he may have played for Tamar yeah, anyway. Yeah. So they didn't have a lot of options. So yeah, I think Mel tr- tried to do the best with what he had, but I thought Ruben and I love Ruben Cotter as a player. I thought he really struggled in the, in the final as well, just playing on the edge. They all struggle. Not, Look, we're not going to blame the edges there. for them not winning, but I just well, the other one was Dylan Edwards on the wing. On the I just wing, don't. Yeah. You're a Penrith man. What did you make of his performance? I had a watched, had a very keen eye on Dill, but he, I didn't think he was the worst of them. I don't think they lost because of Dill Leonard was on the wing. I think, like we spoke about, it was all in, in the forwards. Um, James Tedesco is, yeah, is he going to stick around? Well, that's the big one. Well, isn't that's it? the that's the big question, right? So y- you cast forward, right? You, you mentioned two names that will be in the squad: Cam Murray, Nathan Cleary, injured. They'll be in the squad. Next time the Kangaroos play at the back end of, of next year, uh, you know there, there is some suggestion that Cam Murray might should even start at thirteen ahead of his IEO, right? Yep. Um, but James Tedesco, the Australian captain, when's the next World Cup? Oh, it's not the twenty-six, yeah. is it? Yeah, I a- think all bets are off with Teddy now. I I, I thought Mal should have picked picked him in this series just because of what he did in the World Cup last year, but I think now after that loss, all bets are off. And it depends. There's two players that. Reese Walsh, Caelan Ponga, and if they produce, and Dylan Edwards, and Dylan Edwards, yeah, if 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 those three produce, well, Caelan's the one for me. Yeah, if he I produces what Caelan's he does, in line. if he produces what he did at the back end of the year, you know, and then Funnily we still up, have, I think Caelan's next in line, but he's probably not going to be the Queensland fullback. We'll still, we'll still like Tom Trevojevic, yeah, as well. Well, to, they missed Tommy and Latrell yeah, in the centres yeah. as well, and didn't Latrell they? Latrell will slot back into the centre, yeah. so they're they're massive um, inclusions for for the Kangaroos. Well, the fullback is one three comps in a row. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I think I think Mel did the right thing picking Teddy this time around. I think Teddy deserved it, um, and you have to show him that respect. But I think after that loss, you know, Mel can't afford forward for that to happen, happen mm. again. And there'll be a series at the end. Of, they haven't announced it yet, have they? Is there? A, is yeah, there a, it's likely in, that uh, the plan is is that Samoa goes to England, England and Tonga plays three yeah. tests, and yeah. then Tonga replaces yeah. Samoa in um, the the. Pacific Championship. Well, I think for that, Mel's got to pick it on form. If Teddy has a bad year and Kalen plays out of his skin and Reese Walsh play out of their skin, then I think they've got to be the fullback. 
The good news is that we're speculated on something that's, what, 10 months away? Yeah. It's never too early to speculate it's... international football, Mick, in the Australian team. What about the Kiwis? We can, we'll be speculating on Origin soon as no, well. No, so. I've got a hard ban on Origin. You're happy to talk in national footy, <laughs> but not Origin, which April, comes around sooner. April That makes mine. a lot of when's, sense. I know, I know. <laughs> so uh, when's your cut-off date for Origin? It's like April, isn't it? April, is it? I think so. That's when you say you can start talking about end, end of April when I can start discussing who's in and out of an Origin side. Okay. But Test 40, 10 months out. Okay. Um, Kiwis, Michael Maguire, will he remain as coach of the Kiwis? I think so. Yeah. Well, they. Well, I, yeah. I, there are some people over there who are a bit unhappy about the way the New South Wales um, situations played out. But I think, how can you get rid of him now after that? I mean, he's done an amazing job with them. Um, the players obviously love playing for him, and he's done a great job over there. So I mean, I think he'll remain as coach, and he'll he'll juggle the two roles. Are the Blues ready for this? Do, do, is that is this what they want? Well, well I don't think the Kiwis are particularly happy either. Speaking no. to some people over there in New Zealand, they're not. Uh, it's no, no one's questioning Michael Maguire's ability to coach, right, or, or his place as head coach of the Kiwis. It's just, at some stage, mm. the lines will be blurred between Kiwis coach and New South Wales coach. It's impossible not to be where we see the, um, the influx of dual uh, yeah. eligibility. There's players. not that many. There was actually not that many that can play for both. Yes. I'm sure there's at that level, at that elite level, there's not that many guys. No, but usually they get them when they're young, right? At seven, like there'll be guys that yeah, we don't know. There'll is, be guys that we don't know. Yeah, but and they're guys who probably will never be good enough to play at that level. I'm saying there's not that many guys who reach that level who can play have have, have that choice to make. Mm. There's plenty that have the choice further down, but they actually never reach that. Those yeah, but heights. It's, those discussions will happen further down. So. If you're, yeah, but I'm saying it's only going to impact one or two players. Okay, so you're maybe three. So you seems like you're comfortable with it. I'm a Queenslander. What do I care, <laughs> <laughs> Matty? Uh, yeah, no, I, I I prefer a coach who's solely focused um, on Origin. We saw how much of a, a of a toll it took on on Freddie, and he was and he had no other job. I don't think it. No, I don't think the it's, tolls are these. No, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think he can, he can easily do both. Yeah, like I've got no issue with that. It's mine is just. The potential the, lines, the that conflict, will be, right? which will be blurred at some stage. Yeah. I know Reedy doesn't think it will, but he'll be the first one to write the yarn saying. <laughs> 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 Sounds like you've got the uh, you've got him lined up already. You've got him with the cross. Not at all. No, no, no. But, but where, what else are they going to do? New South Wales. Yes. Well, there's no one else to coach in New South there's Wales. There's plenty of blokes. I spoke to one this morning. And they're in. Keen. They'd be keen, I reckon. Rookie coach. Um, Could be.